Hey, what's up everyone? Kevin here. In this video, I wanna share with you some tips to help you progress from riding easy beginner powder terrain all the way through to advanced terrain on a heli trip. For a lot of snowboarders, a heli trip is like that bucket list trip that you dream about. For myself, it took me almost 20 years of snowboarding before I did my first heli trip, and I definitely had some concerns going into that trip, but thankfully I was set up with some knowledge and some advanced riding skills that really made me have the most fun and get the most of the experience of my first heli trip. So I wanna share with you guys those skills so that you can have an amazing time on your first trip too. So starting off, when you're first riding powder outside of the run, it's important to ride with a crew of people. Safety is always the most important thing. So when you're riding in powder terrain, it's good to know the hazards, be aware of tree wells, know where you're going. And by riding with a group of friends, that's the best way to keep an eye on each other so that you can all stay safe. As a beginner powder rider for safety, you still wanna stay inside the resort. For riding powder, there's definitely a few unique riding skills that you need. The first one is being able to keep your weight over the tail of your snowboard. By keeping your weight back, it's gonna keep your nose up, allowing you to float on top of the snow. You can set up the stance of your snowboard towards your tail, making powder riding so much easier. The next skill is being able to read the terrain and keep your speed up across anywhere that's flat. I think the most common mistake when riding powder is getting stuck in the flat. So read the terrain ahead of time and keep your speed up across any of those flat areas. To maintain your speed through the powder, but to also stay in control, think about spraying a bit of snow out the side of each turn. By spraying snow out the side, you'll control your speed just enough to stay in control, but allow you to keep your momentum going downhill. Next, you can progress onto riding some more advanced terrain, but still staying inside the resort. Again, with riding this type of terrain, you wanna do it with a group of friends, especially in places where there's hazards like riding through the trees. It's always good to keep an eye on your friends and have someone keep their eye on you, just in case because there's always risk of tree wells. With this more advanced terrain, even though it's still in the resort, it's also good to know where it leads to because there still are the hazards of cliff drops or just riding someplace where you can't get out of. So with your group of friends, ride the terrain where you know where it leads to. For your riding skills, with more advanced terrain, you're gonna be picking up more speed. So it's really important to know how to control that speed, either by spraying snow at the side of a turn, but on really steep double black diamonds, you may have to do jump turns and spray snow down the hill. By doing these quicker turns where you're allowing your board to go down the hill for just a second before getting your board on edge and controlling your speed, it's gonna allow you to get down some of the more steeper faces. With riding more challenging terrain that varies, you're also gonna find that there's different types of pressures that get put onto your snowboard. So if you're riding and you're coming up to a bump or a knoll, it's important to be able to bend your knees to absorb the pressure that gets put onto your snowboard. And if there's a dip in the snow, being able to extend your legs to put that pressure on your snowboard to be able to ride through a dip. Being able to absorb the pressure the mountain puts on your snowboard will help you to ride any terrain and stay in control. By riding more advanced terrain, it's also just gonna improve your overall conditioning so that you can snowboard longer and have better days out there without your legs getting tired. Next, you can progress by taking an avalanche course. An avalanche course isn't required to do a heli trip, but the skills and tools you'll learn to use will make you so much more valuable if there ever is an emergency situation. The heli course that I did was one of my favorite times in the mountains. My guide took us to some incredible areas, taught us how to use our avalanche gear, our beacon, shovel, and probe, showed us how we can train with it, but most importantly, really gave us a healthy respect for the mountains. When you're out in the mountains, there's a lot of dangers from avalanches to getting lost to the weather that can roll in. So having that healthy respect can help you to make the best decisions and just keep you as safe as possible. And even though the AVI course isn't required, by doing it, you're just gonna be that much more prepared and confident and sure of yourself if there ever is a situation on your heli trip. 
The next progression is with your advanced riding skills, your IV safety, and the experience of riding in the mountains with a group, you could be all set for your first heli trip. I think coming into the trip with this set of skills is gonna help you to have the best time possible. No matter what type of terrain your guide puts you up to, you're gonna be ready for it. If there is any emergency situation, you're gonna be better equipped. And overall, I think you're just gonna have the confidence and less of those fears going into it on the day. From my experience on my heli trip, even though I was prepared, I was still really nervous. I think that's natural, getting into a helicopter, going into the mountains, to the unknown, it's natural to be nervous, but at the end of the day, I think it helped me to have the best time possible. Honestly, it exceeded my expectations, and I'm gonna do as many heli trips as I can, and if you get the chance, I highly recommend it. If it's something that you wanna work up to and build up to, once in a lifetime experience, and you won't be disappointed. If you have any other questions about riding powder or heli trips, let me know down in the comments. I'll also put some links to some of my favorite powder gear down in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Have fun at their snowboarding and I'll see you in the next video.